Hello, this is probability lesson 1.2. In this, I will discuss questions on probability basics. The first question is, a coin is thrown toast three times. Find the probability of getting exactly two heads, at least two heads, at most two heads. You know that probability is favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. Now, total possible outcomes, as I told you in probability basics, will be equals to 2 raised to the power 3. As the coin is tossed three times, total possible outcomes will be 2 raised to the power 3. But in this case, we need to tell exactly two head will come how many times. So we need to draw the all eight possible outcomes. So let me draw it. Either it could be three heads, head, head, and head. this is one case. Two heads, there will be two case. Head and head first, tail can come in the last place. Tail can come on second place or tail can come on the first place. So there will be three cases for two heads. One head, again one head can come first, other two will be tail. Head can come second time, other two will be tail. Head can come third, third times, other could be tail. And the last case, zero head. 0 head there will be old tail this will be one case so total these will be the eight cases now what first question we need to calculate exactly two heads probability you know that is favorable upon total total cases are eight exactly two heads favorable cases are three you know that this three exactly two heads three favorable cases are there so probability will be three by eight at least two heads what it means at least two heads it means that two or more than two heads will be favorable case at least means minimum two heads will be there maximum could be three so at least means two or more than two heads again probability is favorable by total in how many cases we have two or more heads these are the four cases this one two three four cases we have two or more than two heads Two heads we have three cases, three heads we have one case. So total cases favorable are four, total cases, total possible cases are eight. Again, probability is one by two. Next is at most two heads. What is the meaning of at most two heads? At most two heads, maximum we can have two heads. So it means that less than or equals to two heads. When I say at most two heads, it means the less than or equals to two heads. So we will count two heads, one head as well as zero head. So these cases will be there at maximum two heads means we can have two heads. We can have one head or we can have zero head. So when I say less than equals to two head or at most two heads, probability is equal to favorable by total. Favorable case will be seven because two heads, one head, zero head. We will count all of these divided by total cases are eight. So probability is seven by eight. Question 2 is a fair dice is rolled 2 times. What is the probability that sum of the outcomes of the roll is 5? Now we know that probability is favorable outcomes divided by total possible outcomes. Now total possible outcomes are when dice is rolled 2 times or 2 dice are thrown simultaneously. We know that is 6 square that is 36. They are total possible outcomes. What is the probability that sum of outcomes of the role is 5 favorable cases will be there where the sum of numbers on two dice or sum of number in the two cases should be 5 so it's possible that 1 or 4 1 came first time 4 came on the second time on the dice or vice versa 4 1 it could be 2 3 3 2 these four cases will be the favorable cases we can't make more than that so 1 or 4, 2 or 3. The 4 cases will be there. So answer is 4 by 36. That is 1 by 9 will be my final answer. Question 3 is a fair dice is rolled 2 times. Find the probability that the sum of the outcomes of the roll is more than or equals to 6. We want that probability sum of the two numbers should be greater than or equals to 6. This will be because of favorable outcomes divided by 
total outcome total possible outcomes we know that is 6 square that is 36 and favorable outcomes are those in which sum will be greater than equals to 6 now there will be so many cases in which the sum will be greater than equals to 6 so better we should find the probability that sum greater than 6 this will be equals to 1 minus probability that sum is less than 6 so probability of sum greater than equals to 6 is equals to 1 minus probability of sum less than 6 because sum will be either more than equals to 6 or less than 6 so if I need to find probability of sum greater than equals to 6 the best method is that I will subtract the probability where sum is less than 6 because here the favorable cases will be less favorable cases will be less I can easily found out the cases in which sum on the two sum of two numbers is less than 6 whereas it is difficult to find the cases where sum sum will be more than equals to 6 so many more favorable cases will be there more favorable cases so I I won't find this I will find one minus probability that sum is less than 6 so favorable case I am finding so probability of sum greater than equals to 6 1 minus favorable upon total cases are 6 square now what are the favorable cases when sum is less than 6 favorable for sum less than 6 less than 6 could be 5 this could be 1 4 5 I am making 4 1 3 2 2 3 these are the four cases when the sum is 5 what about 4 when the sum is 4 this could be 1 3 it could be 3 1 or 2 2 this bracket I am just making you can make any bracket sum is 3 1 2 2 1 sum is 2 1 case 1 1 so how many cases I have 4 plus 3 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 total 10 cases I have so this will be equals to can I say this equals to 1 minus 10 by 36 this will be equals to can I say probability of sum greater than equals to 6 will be 1 minus 5 by 18 this is equals to 13 by 18 cases will be there 13 by 18 will be my final answer so 13 by 18 is the final probability where sum is greater than equals to 6. Question 4 is a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of card. What is the probability that is a black card? Now probability you know that is favorable upon total. Total cases are how many? One card we are drawing from a pack of card. This can be selected in 52C one way. We need to select one card out of 52 cards one card out of 52 different card can be selected in 52 C one way as I discussed in PNC that if you need to select R things out of N different things the formula was N C R so here I am selecting one card out of 52 different card formula will be 52 C one favorable cases are how much black card we know that black cards are 26 black cards 13 of spade 13 of club so out of 26 black cards anyone if comes that will make the favorable cases so favorable case will be you need to select any one card out of 26 cards that will be the favorable cases 26 c1 is 26 this is 52 answer is 1 by 2 second is the card is a queen again total cases are 52 c1 favorable cases how many queens we have in a pack of cards there are four queens one for spade one for club one for diamond and one for heart so any of the four queens can come so four c1 you need to select one queen out of four queens that will be the favorable cases so answer is four c1 is four this is 52 this is equals to one by 13 third question is a red queen favorable upon total total cases are again 52 c1 because we are selecting one card out of 52 cards favorable cases red queen how many red queens we have we have two red queens one for 
heart one four diamonds out of two any of the queen you can select two c one that will be the favorable cases so two by fifty two that is one by twenty six will be your answer in this case fourth question is a club card club card favorable upon total club cards are we know that 13 clubs card any of the one can come that will make the favorable cases so this will be 1 by 4 and the last is a face card favorable upon total 52 c1 how many face cards we have 12 jack queen and king for each of the suits so 12 c1 and you can select any one of the card for favorable outcome so 12 c1 so 12 by 52 that is 3 by 13 will be your final answer question 5 is two cards are drawn or picked up simultaneously from a well shuffled pack of cards what is the probability that they are of same color now we know that probability is favorable by total possible outcomes total possible outcomes are we are select simultaneously selecting two cards we are not selecting one card after the other we are selecting simultaneously two out of 52 so two things out of 52 different things can be selected in 52 c2 ways now what will the favorable cases they must be of same color so can i say both the cards could be of red color or both cards could be of black colors this will be equals to 52 c2 will be the total possible outcomes both cards are red so how many red cards we have 26 we can select any two red cards that will make our favorable outcome so 26 c2 or means plus from permutation and combination both cards are black again this will be equal to 26 2 because black cards we have also 26 card so this will be your answer you can solve we know that nc2 is how much nc2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 apply and you will get your final answer next is different color both cards are of different color again total cases will be 52 c2 because we are picking two cards simultaneously from a pack of cards favorable cases different color so definitely one would be red and second would be black we won't say first is red second is black we are not picking the cards one after the other we are picking cards simultaneously two cards we are not picking first card and then second card we are picking two cards simultaneously so one should be red one should be black that's all so red card red card one red card and one black card so one red card out out of 26 red cards can be drawn in once 26 c1 and means multiplication from permutation and combination black card 26 c1 divided by 52 c2 that will be your final answer let me solve this 26 c1 is 26 into 26 52 c2 is how much 52 into 51 divided by 2 this will make 26 into 26 Divided by fifty-two into fifty-one, this two will go upside. This is fifty-two, fifty-two good cancel. So answer is twenty-six by fifty-one will be your final answer. So that was all about probability lesson one point two questions on probability basics. These questions are very important in order to build the fundamental concepts of probability. Understand these question. Try to solve yourself and. practice more and more thank you